work is too dark here. I figure I come out here and I show you where I'm staying. This is the digs here at Twin Rivers Campground. This is cabin or cottage number two. Nice little front porch there. Truck to park right beside. And we'll go in and take a look around. And then just because I didn't go digging today, after I show you this, I'm going to show you, and that's my messy bedroom. And that's just one of the bedrooms. Very nice bedroom. It's the kitchen has a nice couch. I'm not sure if that low seat folds out into a bed or not. It's got a nice chair. Nice chair here. A fireplace that only uses Duraflame logs. Little TV mount on the wall, air conditioner. Case of Lester beer. And a very nice um, kitchen. Another bedroom. I'm not going to turn the light on there. I got stuff stored. Because I always bring more than I need. Nice bathroom. Uh, turn the light on. Staying up shower. Nice bathroom. And the kitchenette is very nice. I like that. I like having a kitchenette where I stay. Because I always cook for myself. But I got um, hillbilly bacon on for the morning. Got a T-bone steak over there. Everything's just about ready for the morning. Very nice. They, they supply you with pots and pans and all kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do next is I am going to um, right down here on top of this igloo cooler. I'm going to show you people all the gold that I have with me. But I'm going to pause you first to get it out. Okay. So when I said this is all the gold I have with me, that's not really correct. I have concentrate buckets out in the truck that I haven't separated the gold from the black sand yet. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dump this as my, I know what this is. This is my, my just, I just got done, just moved, come back out of North Carolina. I only had like two days digging. And I believe I'm missing a snuffer bottle. It's got to be somewhere. I'm going to tap it up to the edge. And I'm just going to add the other gold right in that pan because i got to separate black sands out of it anyway. There goes snuffer bottle. Okay. I haven't been digging up here yet, but I did go to the Rosie's at Rosie's um, Rock and Gift Shop at Coos Canyon. I wanted to pick up something special for some special people. And I wanted to see what Coos Canyon is all about, and it looks pretty awesome. But if you're going to come to New England to dig, you better figure out if you want to go to the Maine, or if you want to go to Massachusetts, which, from what I understand, doesn't really have any prospecting laws, or if you want to, um, gold's floating on me. That doesn't help you separate the black sand. If you want to go to the Twin Rivers and around the Wild Amanusi can turn a tunnel brook. Because it's a two and a half, two and a half hour ride, it's a five hour round trip. And you want to don't want to spend all your time driving. Especially in New England. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Anyhow, okay, now that's um Mostly, this time, this is from Uwari National Forest, and it's floating all over for me there. But I'm, I hope you can see that. Yeah, you can see it. Okay, now, this is the last time I was out there. But this was um, mostly from Dane Mountain. John, John from, uh, John Coden from um, 
Debo Gold Adventures channel. Some of that black sand down out of the way. Try not to really separate this. It's going to be a pain. Mm, here we go. Now that's something to look at. But it's time for me to work this black sand out anyway. So I'll have to do that off camera when, when I'm done with the video here. But in the meantime, I'll show you this. Now, last year, I got a picker and a little nugget from up in there. I'm going to dump them in there too. I have them right here. There's a couple pickers in there. And I show all that to you too. I'm going to separate the pickers into one of these little uh, jars here, whatever you want to call them. I don't even know at this point. There's some nice pieces in there. And that's a nice code. Now I'm going to go out tomorrow and get some more. Now, from what I understand, it's mostly flower gold around here. But if I can run that little one inch dredge, I may do pretty well. But I just thought I'd do a little short and show all that to you. And I'm prepping for, for breakfast and everything tomorrow. Get some hillbilly bacon on. And I'll see you all next time I see you.